Welcome to Brinov's Gallery. NCERT Syllabus Class 2 Maths Chapter 7 Jugs and Mugs Make and enjoy lemon drink. You will need half a lemon, a pinch of salt, one spoon of sugar, one glass of water. How to make it? Take a glass of water. Squeeze the lemon into a glass. Now add sugar. Add pinch of salt. Mix it properly until the sugar and salt content get dissolves. Enjoy your lemon drink. Guess and then find out. How many drops of lemon juice do you get from half a lemon? Answer. 7 to 8 drops. How many drops of lemon juice do you get from a full lemon? Answer. 15 to 16 drops. How many drops of lemon juice fill one spoon? Answer. 12 to 13 drops. For making 6 glasses of lemon drink. How many lemons will you need? Answer. 2 or 3 lemons. How many spoons of sugar will you take? Answer. 5 or 6 spoons of sugar. Lemon drink stall at a village fair. There is a fair in Chetra's village. Chetra, Nazim and Anish want to put up a stall to sell lemon drink. They make a bucket full of lemon drink. They use two different sizes of glasses. Anish got a jug. Do you think it is easier to pour into a glass from a jug than a bucket? Answer. Yes, it is easier to pour a liquid into a glass from a jug than from a bucket. Nazim found that two big glasses fill the jug. Shabnam wants to buy one jug full of lemon drink. How much does she need to pay? Answer. Cost of one big glass of lemon drink equals 10 rupees. Cost of two big glasses of lemon drink equals 20 rupees. Two big glasses fill the jug of lemon drink. So, she needs to pay 20 rupees to buy one jug full of lemon drink. Chetra found that two small glasses fill one big glass. How many small glasses of lemon drink will fill the jug? Answer. Four small glasses of lemon drink will fill the jug. How many small glasses will fill half the jug? Answer. Two small glasses of lemon drink will fill half the jug. Fun in filling vessels. Find out how many cups of water will fill your bottle. First guess and then try it out. Now, fill a different bottle with the same cup. Which bottle holds less water? Try it with another bottle. Which bottle holds the least water? Sunena and Jaspreet brought different vessels from the kitchen. They had a jug, a glass, a mug, a pot and a bowl. They filled each of these with a cup. Guess which vessel holds the least water? Which vessel holds the most water? Now, you collect different vessels from your kitchen. Use the same cup to fill each of them. Count the number of cups of water each of them can hold. First guess and then do it. One cup, five cups, three cups, four cups, two cups. Ring the one which holds more water.
Rani and the milkman. Anil is a milkman. He gives the same amount of milk at Rani's house every day. He uses a mug three times to fill Rani's milk pot. One day Rani's mother gave her a different pot to take milk. Every day Rani's pot would fill to the top. But today Rani found that the pot was not filled completely. Oh, today Anil has given me less milk. Do you think Anil has given Rani less milk? Help her. No, Anil has not given Rani less milk. The pot is large in size as compared to the pot that is why it was not completely filled. Find out. How much milk does your mother buy every day? Try yourself. Take five different types of big vessels from your kitchen. Fill all of them one by one with one jug full of water. What do you see? Why? Talk to your friends about it. Thirsty Crow Chirpy Crow was very thirsty. It looked everywhere but could not find water. Suddenly it saw a pitcher. When it tried to drink water, it found there was very little water in the pitcher. It saw pebbles lying nearby. It put the pebbles into the pitcher one by one. The water came up. Chirpy drank water and flew away. Do you want to be like Chirpy? Do you want to know how the water in the pitcher came up? Take two glasses of the same size. Fill half of each glass with water. You have to put tamarind, imli, seeds in the first glass to raise the water to the top. Guess how many seeds you will need to put in. Now, do it. Count the number of seeds used. Now put the same number of marbles in the second glass. What happens? Repeat it with stones. What happens now? Why? Talk about it in the class. Water is useful. Find out how much water, in mugs or buckets, is used in your house for each of the following. Two buckets. One bucket. Two buckets. Two mugs. Guess and then find out. How many mugs of water fill one bucket? Answer 20 mugs. How many buckets of water do you use to take a bath? Answer one and half bucket. How many mugs of water do you use to take a bath? Answer 25 mugs. How much water will fill a balloon? One mug of water fill a balloon. How much water is needed to fill a water gun? Two mugs of water is needed to fill a water gun. I can drink nine buckets of water at once. How many buckets can two camels drink at once? Answer, one camel equals nine buckets of water. Two camel equals two times nine equals eighteen buckets of water. So two camels can drink eighteen buckets of water. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Brinov's Gallery. Thank you.